And then when he passed away, this uh, quote kept appearing in all the media. And I'm gonna read you the quote that inspired the song. So this is his quote. He said, do not get lost in a sea of despair. Be hopeful, be optimistic. Our struggle is not the struggle of a day, a week, a month, or a year. It is the struggle of a lifetime. Never ever be afraid to make some noise and get in good trouble, necessary trouble. So I loved that quote so much. And I said, I want to write a song, but you can't force things like that. And I just went to bed one night and I said, next, you know, the next morning I'm going to wake up and something's going to come to me. And sure enough, it did at six o'clock in the morning. I jumped out of bed and grabbed my phone and recorded what came up. And this is a, what is known as a layer song. So you can learn part one, you can learn part two, you can learn part three, and you can uh, navigate between all three, depending on which one you like. Uh, you can stay on one. Part one is kind of the motor. It's what keeps the momentum going. And part two is divided into three part harmony. And then part three kind of floats over the top. So let me give you part one. Stand up and make good trouble. Speak up and make good trouble. Get up and make good trouble. Rise up and make good trouble. That's the whole thing. Stand up and make good trouble. Speak up and make good trouble. Get up and make good trouble. Rise up and make good trouble. Well, here's part two. Stand Never up, ever be afraid make to trouble. make some noise. Make some noise. Never up. ever be afraid make to make some noise. Make some noise. Never ever be afraid to make some noise. Make some noise. Never ever be afraid to make some noise. And it goes down. Make some noise. Here's the soprano. Never ever be afraid to make some noise. Make some noise. Never ever be afraid. To make some noise, make some noise. Never ever be afraid to make some noise, make some noise. Never ever be afraid to make some noise, make some noise. Tenor. Never ever be afraid to make some noise, make some noise. Never ever be afraid to make some noise, make some noise. Never ever be afraid to make some noise, make some noise. Never ever be afraid to make some noise, make some noise. Here's the top part. This is the struggle, the struggle of a lifetime. Make good trouble. This is the struggle, the struggle of a lifetime. Make good trouble. This is the struggle, the struggle of a lifetime. Uh -huh. This is the struggle, the struggle of a lifetime. So you got your part? Stand up and make good trouble. Speak up and make good trouble. Get up.
trouble, speak up and make good trouble. Get up last time and make good trouble. Rise up and make good trouble. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah. Fabulous, Whoa. fabulous. Let me say, and welcome to the Facebook, our Facebook family. And if you're just joining us, you are here with the Washington Revels Carpe DM Arts Daily Antidote of Song. And you just finished listening to the great Elizabeth Melvin, who is part of the Ubuntu Choir or Network, hosted by Dennis Donnelly. So just wanted to get you up on it. We've been jamming on the song that she she has just shared with us. And it's pretty, pretty magical and powerful. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, really, really, Elizabeth. Thank you so much for that. That was terrific. Wow, what a great song. Um, I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to have to adopt that for my choir, I think. You got it. <laughs> you got it, especially since you have shared so many arrangements with me over the years. I mm. definitely owe you. <laughs> well, there's no owing, no owing, but I'll be happy to take that song anyway. Thank you, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you've got other things going on. If people wanted to sing with you, uh, we're not geographically specific these days, are we? We can no. we can be anywhere in the continent and, right. and sing along with any song, song leader we want to. So tell us about Rise and Sing. What have you got going there? Um, Rise and Sing is every Wednesday, um, 11 a.m. <coughs> excuse me, 11 a.m. Uh, Eastern <clears throat> Daylight Time. We're still in Eastern Daylight Time. So it's 8 o'clock on the West Coast. And... Uh, we've been doing this since May 6th. My co-host, tech co-host, is Beth Lyons, who is also an Ubuntu Choir Network graduate. And um, we, we just sing for an hour, so it's perfect. It's just a perfect little nugget of time in the morning, on Wednesday morning. We have a different guest song leader every week. We've had Reggie Harris. We've, ha we've had Kathy Bullock. We've had uh, a bunch of people who are going to be on the call this week. Um, uh, in a couple of weeks, I'm having Melanie Damore. Tomorrow, we're having Stephan Stephanie Druin and Paul Barton from Toronto, Canada. And Stephanie is also an Ubuntu Choir Network leader. So we just uh, uh, alternate back and forth during the hour. And I have to say, it's been a magical, magical um, time for me because it's inspired me to write all these songs which I went for years and years without writing songs. And now I'm just like writing songs. So <laughs> I, I think this, this uh, Zoom atmosphere has, has done it for me. Plus the fact that I bought this <laughs> and that's what you were hearing. That's a looper. Ooh, that's, that's fancy. <clears throat> that's fancy. Well, we're going to have a chance to sing that song a little bit again, I think. But before we do that, I wanted to ask you about something you've got coming up on the day after the election, Elizabeth. That sounds that sounds pretty, pretty neat. Yes. As part of Rise and Sing, you know, I normally have one guest song leader. I decided that we needed to go the extra mile the day after the election. I, re I know how I felt the day after the election four years ago. I wanted to make sure I was surrounded by people uh, of love and truth and song that day, no matter what the result was. So I asked six song leaders to join me, including Pat Richter, Shelly Enser, who I know Kathy knows who Shelly Enser is. She's a great gospel choir leader. Leah Gilmore, who has been here uh, several times to lead on Daily Antidote, uh, Beth Lyons, uh, Becky Graber from Vermont and Roberta Kern from uh, Martha's Vineyard and myself. And we are going to have such a good hour of uh, unity and love and song and friendship. So I hope you'll join us. If you want uh, more information, I think in the chat, it's contact at thefreedomchoir.com. Just send me an, an email because I don't really have a link other than what's on my website, which is thefreedomchoir.com, uh, but that just takes you to my homepage and doesn't give you a whole lot of info on Rise and Sing. If you send me a direct email, contact at thefreedomchoir.com, I'll, I'll take care of you, okay? <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. I wanted to um, also add, um, as 
how powerful that is, how powerful this song is. Do you, don't you know that this organization with uh, Joe's guidance and the other the team behind him, including Nico, thank you, Nico, for doing the, the sound, um, have been at this for, it will be 200 days coming up, I think the end of this week, the 200th time of daily sharing these songs and uplift. I mm. said, wow, and I thank you to that. I thank you for that and bring you these opportunities and letting us hear. We wouldn't be hearing about the powerful work that Elizabeth is doing, you know, all over the country and Dennis in the helping to create the power of this music. And it, it, is, it is so much beyond ourselves. And it's crazy, isn't it? That in the midst of the COVID and people, hundreds of thousands dying, that we're able to find some beauty or to find some hope, but mm. we must. We continue to do that. Um, I wanted to say this song that uh, you just heard, we'll hear it again, Elizabeth wrote, is also one that she graciously uh, it included with a project that was involved with women's, uh, the 100th anniversary of the uh, women's suffrage. And so that uh, video is available for you. I've also put that in the chat to, to look at. And it really tells the story of the struggle that started back 100 years and has continued for us to vote so if you haven't already the end result is please do so <laughs> please vote <laughs> okay so i just wanted to throw those in as well and um make sure that there was another um uh, thing before I, I turn it back over to you i just have to say about john lewis the i got to meet the great congressman john lewis at berea college where i uh, worked as musician there we did a song in his honor. At the end of the song, he says, you're done me proud, you're done me proud. Aww. I feel like I can go on a little while longer. Oh my and, he, God. and he also said that the civil rights mu movement without music is like a bird without wings. Mm. So as that legacy continues encapsulated in what Elizabeth has done, I thank you again. Elizabeth, do we get a chance to sing that song again? Well, yes, but you get a chance to sing it in a special way. Um, Leah Morris, my dear friend and uh, co-song leader, helped me produce a video of the song. Uh, some of you have probably seen it, but we wanted to show that today so that you could just sing along with the video. It's exactly how I just taught it. It comes in one by one. And on that video are several people who have led um, songs here at the Daily Antidote, including Leah, and then Leah Gilmore, who comes in at the end. She sings the, this is the struggle, that part, and Chris Matthews, who has um, led songs here. The fifth person is Beth Lyons, who is my tech co-host. So I would love for you to see this. Um, it's bookended. Uh, by uh, video clips of John Lewis, and I find that very moving. Um, Leah came up with that production. So without further ado, here is the video. <laughs> In the state of Alabama, during the early 60s and the mid 60s, there was several hundred thousand of black people of voting age, but very few were registered to vote. As a matter of fact, in the heart of the black belt, in Selma, a small town in Alabama, that had only about 2.1% of the black people of voting age registered in 1965. Uh, today in Selma, more than 70% of the blacks of voting age are registered to vote, and five members of a 10-member city council happen to be black. Well, in Greene County, Alabama, during the early 60s, very few blacks were registered, but today that county is controlled by blacks. The highest elected official of the county is the young man, uh, Thomas Gilmore, who is the sheriff. Stand up. And make good trouble, speak up and make good trouble, get up and make good trouble, rise up 
and make good trouble. Stand up and make good trouble. Speak up and make good trouble. Get up and make good trouble. Rise up and make good trouble. Stand up and make good trouble. Speak up and make good trouble. Get up and make good trouble. Rise up and make good trouble. Never, never be afraid to make some noise. Make some noise. Never, never be afraid to make some noise. Make some noise. This is the struggle, the struggle of a lifetime. Make some noise. Make good trouble. This is the struggle. The struggle of a noise. lifetime to make good trouble. This is the struggle, the struggle of a noise. lifetime to make good trouble. This is the struggle, the struggle of a noise. lifetime to make good trouble. So you tell us to wait. You tell us to be patient. We cannot wait. We cannot be patient. We want our freedom and we want it now. Yeah, baby. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. I got tears in my eyes. Wow. Moved by John Lewis. I just. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yes, yes, wow. Whenever he spoke, it was like he had us all right here <clears throat> in his yeah. hand. You could hear pin. Yeah. Pin straw, uh, just a pin. Oh my gosh, wow! That's all I'm saying is wow. <sighs> yeah. So I need to let you know that um, uh, Leah has developed a page, like a product for this, for educational and worship um, purposes. Uh, she has a package on her website. I'm going to put the link here in case any of you are interested. Um, you get the video both with and without the intro. You get the score and an MP3 recording. So if you are interested in licensing the that package for your worship or educational purposes, I'm going to put that in the link in the in the chat right now. Thank thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you. That's uh, what a gift. What a gift. Kathy, did you want to come in here? I did. My um. My little dog decided to just, you know, start barking crazily, you know, out of the blue. His name is Figaro. He's just about this big, but thinks he's a lion. So <laughs> I muted myself. He just came right. Anyway, yes, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has attended today. Please carry in your heart as I am the song, the message, the love, the support, the hope, and all of those things that we need to as we go through our day um this is not the end uh this happens every day at noon y'all and you could go to elizabeth at, at on wednesdays and then shoot right on over here right because you're an hour earlier right. i mean listen right. Right. Okay. listen and uh dennis's uh organization or well, ubuntu that he's a co-founder of uh will be having additional members other phenomenal folks the rest of this week who will be sharing mm -hmm their music and their arts with us so be here and be ready to continue the joy uh as we go to reach that 200 mark and beyond for washington raffles again thanks to nicole thanks to joe um for all the work you're doing thanks thanks dennis for your vision and for bringing these phenomenal folks and thank you elizabeth for this phenomenal song. And I mean, it's really, you know, I feel so much bigger than just one person, you know, what we all do collectively. And I'm just thankful to be a part of it. 
So we're gonna close out. It's time for us to go. Oops, my <laughs> phone was ringing. Yo, okay, so we're ready to hit the road and to say goodbye to everybody and enjoy your day. So I'm just waving you out and saying thank you to everybody. Um, if I forgot anything, Joe, jump right on in.